Thousands of people who are flying with Bulgarian Air yep. will read your stories. And uh, I mean, it's difficult. It's always been difficult being so handsome anyway. <laughs> but now that I'm going to get even more recognized, <laughs> you know, it's, it's a cross to bear. It's a blessing and a curse, Andy. But let's get back yep. to the action. Here yep. we go. True, guys. Under 70 kilograms once again. KW Open This class. is KW Open Rules. You can see by the gloves, it's MMA rules. We have uh, Delian Gurgiev fighting Lucas Lime from Brazil. And this is uh, Bulgaria versus Brazil. And one would think that the Brazilian is going to shoot in for a takedown and attempt a submission. Yeah. But I have to say, if you're fighting anyone from Bulgaria, you have to go up against somebody who's potentially a fantastic wrestler. Yeah. Now, nice striking here. You can you can see that they're not. It never looks like they're technical fight uh, strikers. Yeah. When you see true. the MMA guys fighting, but they've obviously got to be prepared for a shoot and a takedown and a wrestle. They have a different striking, and as you can see, you see two well, disciplines: of, uh, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, of course, you, because you have two different ones. Uh, the Japanese and the Brazilian, but you see the Bulgarian, who's a wrestler, strong guy, uh, not a stance, kinda. Yeah, but he's taking him down. There we go. There nice we go. Nice shoot in. What is gonna nice take right down. Now. And good give there. He's got a guillotine, guillotine, but I don't think he's gonna get it. Lima's gonna pop door. his head out. There we go. So, but Grant, talking about MMA. Yeah. So you already, f you fought MMA or you, d you uh, did some I fought MMA, I trained MMA and I refereed uh -huh. the UFC for eight years mm. and I refereed about 6,000 MMA fights. Okay, nice. So, so you can tell us a lot. I could tell you a little bit. I'm not saying I'm an expert, but, but I've been around the block. Okay. And just looking at this, the, the thing here at Senchi, our rules are set up. It's only a three round fight. Uh, sorry, three minutes per round, mm -hmm. not at five minutes per round. And it's set up that they've only got a limited time on the ground to work. So, which takes the advantage away from a pure grappler. Uh, and you saw there that Sammy Schilt stood them up. Uh, what was interesting was that uh, Lima took Gorgiev down. He ended up inside Gorgiev's guard and wasn't really pressing to pass. Yeah. But he also wasn't really pressing to strike, although he was held in that guillotine for a little while before he popped his head out. Now, it looks so dangerous here when I'm watching Gordier fight because his hands are so low. Yeah, and you see that the, the distance. Uh, for the MMA guys, usually they have a little bit more distance than kickbox compared to kickboxing or boxing. And you see they are pretty close to each other. They are almost fighting in their pockets. Uh, well, Gordier is open to being knocked out, I, I'm yeah. going to say it. Do you think do you think Lima has, should have the power to knock the guy out? Well, oh, oh, <laughs> Gorgiev goes for a takedown, and that's an interesting one to take a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter down, especially because Lima is is the Brazilian jiu-jitsu. He was third place in the world championships. He was a state champion of Sao Paulo. He, he's Ah. He's very good at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. A really good first round, a lot of action. Uh, I think thanks to their weight also, because they are so light. Yep. You know, they go for it, you go back and forth, they are moving a lot, they like, like light, li they, the light waves are jumping around, you know, and they can throw a lot uh, without a lot of damage, but both sides, both the guys, they scored a knockdown, right? Well, they both got a takedown. Uh, down, sorry, take yeah. down. My bad. Um, it always interests me how judges will score a takedown yep. in mixed martial arts because here's the thing. If you're on top, but you're in your opponent's guard, do you have the advantage? Yep. Well, you do if you posture up and you start landing strikes, but you're not going to be able to land an effective, uh, sorry, uh, finish a, a, an effective submission if you're in somebody's guard. Yeah. If you take someone's down and you mount them, sure, yeah. then you've got a dominant position, so you score. Exactly. So it depends where the takedown finishes. And what if it's really, uh, of course, from the uh, organization. And, and here, here we go. So if there I, I if I throw a left hook and it doesn't land, do I score? Well, probably not. A single leg. A single, single leg. He needs again. to turn to his right here. Or pick him up and take him down. Uh, and it seems like Lima likes to do this, to get him in his guard and going for the guillotine. Yep. 
And here you see Gordiev here squeezing the guillotine, which he hasn't got under the neck. And that's going to tire his arms out. He's let it go. He's got his left foot on the hip of Lima, which he could push away and sweep. Nope, he's closed his guard now. Lima's got a left underhook, which gives him a slight advantage. Okay, but Gordiev holding on there and getting the stand up. It's like, there's no, there's no fight happening, you know, when you yeah. really punch to the ribs. I think this this rule setting is a uh, really nice match for you guys, for all the audience and people who love action fights. Well, MMA boring. was all MMA was always geared up to give the advantage to the jiu-jitsu guy because you know the the, the Gracies mm, came up okay. with those rules. Um, they've been accepted worldwide now. Unified rules are pretty much you know the global standard, and I think it's interesting that we dare to do something yeah. different. Derek Rodriguez goes again for a single leg. Yeah, Lima goes in for that takedown. Uh, is Lima, by, by the way, Lima is a Brazilian guy, right? Yeah. And Gordiev is taking the, the takedown or the, the single leg. Uh-huh. Just for the people who are watching. I'm, I'm not really clever. I'm getting just, confused. Sorry. No worries. Just trying to help you, Grant. <laughs> well, I've probably been confused the whole fight then. <laughs> well, I'm only saying that because okay, Gordon there we go for the angle. has got the darker skin. <laughs> he looks Brazilian. Good grief. Um, you see Lima, he likes to be in guard. And the third attempt for a guillotine. Now, can you explain us what a guillotine is, uh, Grant? Well, it, the thing about a guillotine is there's a... There's if you if you uh, spar or roll with someone who's proficient at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and they get a guillotine, it's not just putting the forearm under the neck, which most people think. No. If you can get the wrist under the neck and, tw and tilt yeah. your wrist yeah. and put the crook just into the Adam's apple, you can finish it very, very quickly. Now, I'm surprised here. Superman punch. Oh, it's time already from Gorgiev. Yeah, and I'm going to have to backpedal here because it's actually... Uh, um, yeah, I did get it wrong. Uh, I don't know what I was. What no I was, worries, uh, no worries. There. Let's but continue. Um, what do you think about the uh, the score so far? Because before we know, we well, are in the third round. Yeah, I'm going to have to give it uh, two rounds to one to Gorgiev, 100 percent. And just going back to who had their hands down, it. I mean, Lima. I would think is I think, fighting yeah. like he wants to get knocked out. Yeah. And I'm surprised that Gorgiev hasn't capitalized on that. Yeah. You see Semi, the ref, Semi Shield, having some rules setting straight with his, uh, with his judges. And so far, it's a good fight, Semi. The pace has been, has been good. Yeah. I'm surprised that Gorgiev hasn't capitalized on the poor defense of Lima. And I'm surprised that Lima hasn't capitalized on his strength in the jiu-jitsu department. Um, but actually, you shouldn't underestimate anyone's jiu-jitsu or wrestling in this part of yeah. the world. There's some absolutely fantastic Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners here in Bulgaria. Yeah, and you know what happens when the both guys are uh, equal to each other, you know? And on the longer term, on the end of the fights, you see things happening probably, you know? Right. So maybe you're gonna see... But here we, there we see Gordiev throwing some punches. He ducks under and shoots in, and he's going well, to be that sort of bad guillotine again. Yeah, uh, automatically going to the guillotine. But it's harder to get that guillotine. You see that Lima there, he's got one arm under the chin of, uh, or attempting to get under the chin of Gordiev, and the other arm over the shoulder. But if both arms were inside, it's much easier to finish the guillotine. Now his guard is closed, and Gordiev, I'm sure, is going to pop his head out. He doesn't look like he's in any trouble at all. You can see it's not under his chin. Yeah. He's just controlling. But I'm surprised that uh, Lima's not trying to sweep from this position. Oh, 
and <laughs> his left his left was, foot came there, was, there yeah. he could he had an ideal opportunity there to yeah. turn Gordiev over. Now we're coming up to a minute fifteen left of this third and final round. Strikes landing short there from Lima. Gordiev shoots in again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an echo. His head pops out quicker this time. Yeah. Now he needs to posture up and land some strikes. Yeah, we didn't see any ground of pound so far. Yeah. Oh, probably uh, Gordiev. You haven't got time. Nice you haven't got time under these rules, Andy, have yeah. you, to to, uh, to try and set anything up? Yeah. You've got to go for something. Yeah, something. Just give him a couple of punches, you know, some ground of pound. Even though he, you're in guard. At least to show the referee something, that yeah. something's happening. Yeah. And I'll tell you one thing: they are, they are, they breed them out here with leg yeah. locks in their DNA uh, in yeah. this part of the world. Exactly. There's some fantastic leg lock instructors out here, and uh, oh, no. that was a nice right hand there from Lima. Gordiev going for the takedown again. He's going to pick him up and drop him, I think. And he's going to end up in the same position. The last few. Okay, time. Well, okay, guys. That what do you think? was a five. I think Gorgiev uh, takes the lead. Takes I think, the win. I think Gorgiev. Due to take the first two rounds, had yeah. to be 10 9, 10 9. Well, that was definitely three rounds uh, worth watching. There's such technique that goes into the MMA stuff. And the final well, round. I mean, the, the thing is, you could say he ended up when, with the takedown. He ended up in a guillotine every time, but there was no yeah. danger with the guillotine. Yeah. So it d depends so, on what the judges yeah. are looking at. So the next time we uh, know what to tell the people, what which should be good, good enough to score and to take the, take the lead or take the round or take the takedown. Well, uh, the one thing I've taken from this fight is. There are people in Bulgaria with a darker tan than people from Brazil. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, live always and learn. fun, guys. Always fun with Grant. Live and learn. Yeah. Um, another great matchup, but sometimes when they're matched too fairly, they cancel each other's skills out. Mm. Um, well, it's got to go. It's it has to go to Gordiev. Yeah, I agree. Again, and that's not. Ah, I think this is the first evening that we agreed twice in a row. <laughs> okay. <laughs> really? Okay. Write it down, guys. Well, you shouldn't be so disagreeable. On the seven, yeah, no, the no, no, but who is winning? <laughs> who is winning usually? Huh? Judge one. Okay. To 27 in favor of the blue corner. There we go, Gold Gev. Judge two. 28 to 28, a draw. Oh. Judge three, 28 to 27 in favor of the blue corner. There we go. Yeah. Gordiev. Wow. Gordiev by the skin of his teeth. Yeah. And uh, a fantastic fight. And we a nice play, see. a really nice play. A lot of action. I think it was a good demonstration yeah, of the, of the MMA, century MMA yeah, rules yeah. here as well, because uh, yeah. they weren't doing anything on the ground. And what were we watching? And the fight was not going to go anywhere towards a win. So Sammy stood yeah. them up yeah. and we saw more action. Good job. Good fight. Good fight. So, yeah. Looking forward to the next one. The photo model Samperi from Italy against Hlevecca. Yep. From Portugal. Guys, have fun. See you later on and enjoy. We'll see you shortly, Us. Andy, for more commentating Us. and more world-class refereeing. Us. And for our next referee, I would like to invite up Zahari Damiano. Let's get the official photo.